Hey everyone, lately I've been creating YouTube Shorts dance videos using our channel's AI cover girl, Nancy. We're making use of stable diffusions and root face swap techniques. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process and steps of how I did it. Some of you have been asking how I create these dance videos, so here we go. Believe it or not, some folks questioned if it's an AI, and someone even asked for this girl's TikTok ID. Well, the twist is, She's entirely virtual. Some of you in the comments claim that the move to move extension doesn't work with version 1.6. I'm here to show you that it indeed works. I know some of you are asking in a good manner, but those jerks are trying to ruin the common sections. Well, yes, this video are going to slap those jerks face. Let's kick things off with automatic 1111. The easiest way to create animations using stable diffusions is by using move to move. It doesn't require extensive preparation like other methods. You only need your short videos, drag and drop them, add your prompts, and generate animations. I'm also using the face swap extension based on the root model. It's important to note that this extension is uncensored and NSFW enabled. I know some of you like that, huh? Links to everything I mentioned will be in the description below. The SD Web Reactor extension has been a smooth experience for me during installation and initial use. You don't need to download additional model files as with the Roop Web UI. The first time you run the extension, it downloads the necessary model files. The extension also supports Google Colab SD Web UI. Before you use the FaceSwap extension, Make sure to disable the SD Web UI Roop extension and restart Automatic 11.11. Both extensions cannot run simultaneously, it'll crash the system. Now, let's dive into the Move to Move tab. In this updated version, they've added a feature called Movie Editor. You can select a specific frame and add it to the Move to Move settings. Write a text prompt for that frame. It allows you to change a scene from the original video like turning a person sitting in a park into someone sitting in a futuristic spaceship. This feature makes a huge difference compared to using Deforum or Stable Diffusion EbSynth utility uh, to create unique AI animations. For example, you uh, can drag and drop a video and use the movie editor to select a frame number. You can mark down the frame numbers and create specific text prompts for each. The Clip Interrogate Keyframe and Deep Baru. Keyframe features allow you to play around with the keyframe image. This extension is more convenient than EbSynth utility, which requires extracting all image frames from a video clip and doing image to image for each keyframe. With move to move, you just type a text prompt on the selected keyframe number. In my example, I've selected a keyframe and added my text prompt about a woman dancing, the clip interrogate. Keyframe and DeepBaru Keyframe download the custom model the first time you use them. While waiting for the downloads, we're going to enable the Reactor extension below. Much like the Roop Web UI extension, select the face image you want for the face swap and click Enable. Additional settings are available if you have multiple people in the video clip and the face swap image, allowing you to specify the target people. This feature can handle about three people. I'll keep the other settings as default. Let's try a new video for face swap and move to move animation this time since the white dress dancing videos were already generated with Nancy's face. We'll test it with different denoising strength and noise multipliers for this demonstration. Uh, the first generation is a bit rough with a cartoony style using rev animated checkpoint with denoising strength set to 0 0.5.
We're using realistic vision checkpoint models aiming for something similar to the YouTube short videos. But with the realistic vision checkpoint models and lower denoising strength, it significantly improves. Stable diffusion is finishing the generation, and I'll be back with the results. All right, the command prompt has stopped, and it's 100% done. Let's see the results. On the right side, you see the face swap result with 0.4 denoising strength and noise multiplier set to 1. I've also tested other settings to reduce noise and flickering, which I'll show at the end of the video. So, there you have it. It's a tutorial on using the Stable Diffusion extension purely for generating animations without using other AI tools. Let's check it out. So this is the 0 0.4 result with noise multiplier 1. Uh, as you can see, there's still a little flickering on the hair and the background. And here's the better one. She, as you can see, is way smoother, not much flickering it, just like that YouTube short video that I posted. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope you've gained some inspiration on how to create realistic animation video clips similar to the ones I've posted on YouTube Shorts. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please click the button now. Until next time, see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.